My name's Gareth Warwick Dunn, um, I'm 25 years old um, and I have uh, stage 4 synovial sarcoma, uh, metastatic cancer and I have a year to live. I was just about to become hopefully an officer in the army um, in the parachute regiment and went to hospital to try and check up on a um, potential fracture in my foot um, and it turned out not to be a fracture but a massive tumour and I was going to have my leg amputated in two weeks time. And well, about a year and a half, two years later, I um, went back for a routine scan and once again came back with a massive tumour in my left lung, um, including 14 others in my right lung. First off, when you get your first diagnosis, you're being told that you have cancer, but we're going to try and treat it and we're going we're gonna to get it out of you. Um, you're confident, you're, um, you're buoyed by the fact that you know that there's a very good chance you're going to be okay. But then to be told now, two years later down the line, that you're not going to be okay, you are going to die from this and you're going to die at a young age, is, is, a, is kind of an insane prospect to be, um, uh, to, to, to be dealing with. Um, it's, it's petrifying because no one wants to die. Um, but it's also, I have to say, quite calming in a way, purely on the basis of the fact that it means that for the rest of my life I know exactly what I want to do. As it stands, I'm in between treatments at the moment, so day to day I'm uh, training as much as I can at the track and getting out on my road bike, keeping myself fit and healthy. But predominantly the day is spent organising various fundraising events that friends are doing, that I'm doing myself, um, trying to push ourselves towards that goal of £100,000 and more for Cancer Research UK. But the major regrets going forward are not spending time with my parents growing old and my friends growing old. And especially at this time, in your early 20s, um, with various friends' weddings um, going on. And they're wonderful occasions and I'm not going to turn up free food. Um, but at the same time, um, they are quite emotional because everyone's getting on with their lives. Um, and I'm not going to have that opportunity. And it makes me very, very emotional. It makes me very angry at times. Um, but then why not channel that energy, that frustration to something that you love in the here and now, into the passions you have and into the love and care of the family that you have right here, right now. Because they're not gonna have you for too much longer and you're not gonna have them for too much longer. So rather than wasting your time worrying about things that could have been later down the line, maybe make the most of what's going on now. I mean, legacies are a funny thing, but it would be nice afterwards if, if I do crop open conversation, people say he was a nice guy and he made the most of his life um, and he had a real positive impact on, on the people that he met and the people he had relationships with um, and the friends he made. Um, as long as they remember me as someone that was enthusiastic, friendly and took the absolute mick at every opportunity about everyone and everything, um, then I'll be pretty happy. But that's not to say that obviously there's part of me that wishes I had a greater legacy. I wish I had an ambassadorship um, in the Foreign and Commonwealth Office. I wish I had a successful officer's career in the Army with, on top of that, getting married and having kids and them going on to have successful careers and wonderful lives. Um, but the measure of me is going to be my own self-worth and the point at which I do pass away, whether I think that I've had a fulfilling life or not. Um, and I've no question that the answer is going to be yes, even though it ended early, because I've been lucky enough to travel the world. I've been lucky enough to have all the experiences that I've had. And I've been lucky enough to have loving family and friends. And if anyone wants any more than that in life, um, I'm not sure where they're heading because that sounds pretty perfect to me.